Hey everybody, welcome to Hard for Games. My name is Tony, and today I want to talk a little bit about and also show some exclusive footage from a new Zelda hack. It is Ty Anderson's Ura Zelda Project Link's Awakening 64. I'm really excited about this because essentially what it is is it's Link's Awakening, the, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color game, and it's reimagined in a 64-bit Nintendo 64 style. Think Ocarina of Time meets Link's Awakening, and then they spat out a baby. What you're going to have here is the, the story from Link's Awakening with a, some of the manga filling in and a sprinkling of like fan fiction over top to kind of just fill everything in. Uh, what he's ultimately going for is a richer and also somewhat darker experience from the original game. So like I said earlier, we do have some exclusive footage to showcase to you guys. This was given to us specifically by Ty just for this video. Now what this is, is the entrance area to Tail Cave, which you might remember from Link's Awakening. So everything you see here is original. Except for a couple of placeholders, there's some a couple of texture placeholders, and Link's voice, I believe, is from Skyward Sword right now, and that, that's also a placeholder. But those will eventually be replaced. Everything else you see is hand-drawn. So all of the textures, the models, everything is original, just like tediously labored over, and you can really tell. I mean, this is beautiful. I am in love with the color palette here. It's pastel almost. I mean, it really does look kind of like a marriage between the N64 titles and Link's Awakening for like the Game Boy Color. All of the music is going to be original. Some of the sound effects are going to be original too. They're going to attempt to replace as many as they can, but that's kind of up in the air right now. Another nice thing about this is because it's all original for the most part, you know, if there are any issues like with Nintendo, for example, one, it's a ROM hack and they generally leave ROM hacks alone, but two, he can kind of just replace Link out of it. And other than that, it's, it's an original game. He's not using any of the assets from Ocarina of Time, for example. So he's actually gonna be pushing this beyond the N64, like Ocarina of Time game. You're gonna have higher quality textures and more polygons on screen than what you saw in Ocarina of Time, which is really impressive from a technical standpoint, but also he's basically just doing this by himself. It's just him and a, and a couple people, I think, helping him with audio, like music, essentially. Um, so, you know, and, and as we get more, more content from him, you know, we'll give some critiques and some more in-depth thoughts, but it does look very promising at the moment. So basically, there's just, just a lot of nuance. And if you'd like to support this project, you can. You know, he has a Patreon. He also has a Facebook and YouTube channel. You can check for updates. And, you know, I, I know that, you know, a lot of you guys out there are going to be, I wouldn't say like, um, you know, tentative maybe. Because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of Zelda fan projects. They come and they go. Right, you know, obviously there's there's the Zeth N64 stuff, um, Aeroblast, uh, who's who did Project Beta Triforce. We featured some of his content uh, years ago on the channel. He just gracefully bowed out of the project, unfortunately, but gracefully. So these things do come and go. You know, stuff happens, but it doesn't mean that we can't support them while they're here, right? Uh, and I, I do think that when you have a game that that has this kind of art design behind it, it is worth supporting while it exists. And, you know, frankly, you know, when you take a look at the project, you take a look at Ty, you kind of start wondering, is Ty Anderson the messianic figure of Zelda hacking? And, you know, some would say no. Um, would it be appropriate to say yes? Uh, no. Um, will I say that he is? No, but he is. Um, and so I'll kind of just leave you on that note. And just want to also thank you guys for subscribing and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.